By the way, Finn, Finn Whitrock is a, just a great name. Thank you. I, I didn't come up with it, but uh, yeah. I'll take the credit. I assume that was your parents who are credit. But they in did. a way, though, it limits you because you can't be like the uh, assistant manager at a Denny's when your name's Finn Whitrock. You have to either be an actor or maybe a private eye or there's something like yeah. that. I, I was I was kicked out of accounting school. I really wanted to be an accountant. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, not with that name. Get out of here. You're from a family of actors, correct? I am. Yes. My my, uh, my dad worked at uh, a company called Shakespeare and Company in uh, Lenox, Massachusetts, and uh, I kind of was grew up um, listening to Shakespeare and like. Imitating did you like Shakespeare and... or did you find it boring when you were a kid? I always liked it because I was just hearing it all the time. You right. Know, it was never like. That intimidation factor that usually comes in later. Your dad would have been upset if you didn't like it, I assume. Well, my dad kind of wanted me to be a, a, an accountant or a doctor. He or, did? Why? Or, uh, I think he was just kind of out of out of uh, the, the protection you have for your kid. Like, didn't want me to have to deal with all the I rejection see. that acting... What does, does he think now? I assume he's pretty, he's pretty happy, happy with how yeah, it went. I mean, I was pretty... I caught the bug pretty young. I mean, he literally walked into the hospital when I was being born in full Tybalt makeup. Oh, really? Like, he had just, they, he had told the company that he, his wife was having a baby, and they had, like, the fastest production of Romeo and Juliet since, like, 1598. Like, they just, like, sped through the whole play, and then he walked into the hospital. Only one of them dies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they skipped right to the end, yeah. You know what happens. <laughs> and so, and now you do the a lot of live theater, correct? Yeah, I do. You did a that. play with Sally Field yes. um, uh, earlier this year? Just recently, The Glass Menagerie. The Glass Menagerie. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Thank you. That's one I've heard of. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah it, was great. It, was, it was a dream come true. I would think so, yeah. yeah. And she seems pretty great. Uh, she's everything you want her to be. Does she ever screw up, or is she just a perfect pro she's, at all times? She's a pro. Do you ever screw up with her? No, no. No, you did not. <laughs> uh, uh, we did have a, a kind of amazing backstage screw up. It was like, we had, it was like show number 90. We had done a whole bunch of shows, and uh, we got word that our, the girl playing Laura, you know, it's like a four-person four play, and, and the girl playing Laura couldn't make it from Williamsburg to Manhattan because there was a, a bike marathon, and she literally couldn't get there, so they called in the understudy. And so we're, like, maybe 45 minutes before the show, we're, um, we're kind of rehearsing some stuff with the understudy, like, working over some choreography. And, and it's, like, a very, it's a very scary kind of thing, you know? Like, you've done this show for so long, and now the understudy is going in. And the stage manager kind of is walking around about to kind of tell us what to do next, and she bites it really hard in the stage and trips and falls on her, like, knee, elbow. Her head goes into the wheelchair. And we're like, this is, what is going on today? And, and Carrie, the understudy, goes, uh, well, you know, things always happen in three. And we're like, Carrie, don't say that. You know, you're the understudy. Just, just do your job. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so we're, all, we're like, okay, so the understudy's going on. We're, we're about to um, go onto the stage, and we kind of uh, enter in this sort of alleyway next to the theater outside. And the, the four of us are there. We're, we're going to start with, with the understudy. And um, the doors are, are closed. And so it's like, like four Broadway actors, like outside the Broadway house, like not able to get into the theater, and and we're like, this is like Bird number man. three, Bird man. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is number three, obviously. And then um, this usher comes out, and she's the one supposed to kind of let us in, and but she's kind of like, she's she's not feeling so well. Like she's a little nauseous, or something's going on with her. And we're like, what's going on with the usher? So we we walk into uh, this sort of antechamber where there's like a bathroom, like before we make our real entrance, and there's um. There's this weird smell, and there's like the kind of like sawdust stuff that they throw down when in elementary school when like someone pukes, you know? Uh huh. That right. stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like at the circus. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right. And we're like, oh, somebody puked back here. Like this is crazy. This is the third thing. And then the usher like comes back, kind of stumbles back in, and she's like, no, no, that's that's not puke. Somebody, somebody let themselves go on the way to the bathroom. Oh, so it wasn't number and, two. And we're like, it was number Whoa, two. And Sally, <laughs> yeah, it was number two. Oh. Yeah. oh my! And what did Sally say? Well, we're all we're all kind of slowly getting this, and Sally just goes, "Wait, it's poop." <laughs> That's what I always remember of Sally Fields. Wait, Fields. it's poop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of her one. great lines. Yes, it was. Really the cake, you know, you like me, really like me, and now. Uh, <laughs> Wait, it's yeah. poop. Yeah. Tell me about Landline. This is uh, an independent film. Jenny Grace Slate, who's very funny, oh, is so in good. it. John Turturro, who's great. Yeah. Who do you play he's in the Falco. movie? Um, I play this guy, Nate, a bit of a ne'er-do-well. He's uh, 
Um, Jenny's kind of got a, a pretty nice thing going on with J. Duplass, and I, I'm sort of the, the temptation that tries to steal her away from I that. see. And can you tell us what happens in the end? Uh, I probably shouldn't. But you should. You should tell everybody I, in case they don't see it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably One of us best gets thing the girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it's very good to have you here. Yeah, the movie's called it. Landline. It opens in select cities on Friday and then everywhere in the world on August 4th. Finn Whitrock, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.